Hello my fellow scratchers, welcome to another scratch learning video. Today we are going to talk about the blocks in sensory categories. And I'll show you some examples so you'll understand them better. So let's get into it. We're going to start off the touching mouse pointer block. This block checks if the sprite is touching the mouse pointer, edge or another sprite. So let's look at an example to understand it better. First, we are going to go to control and drag the forever loop in the scripting area and now go to motion and drag the move block inside the forever loop. Now drag this touching block inside the move block. Now go to events blocks and drag the one green flag light on the top of the forever loop. So first it is going to trigger this forever loop and then it is going to detect if the mouse is touching the sprite. If not, it will not move and if it is touching the sprite, it will move one pixel forward. Now let's click the green flag. See, I'm touching the sprite, it moves forward. But if you want to move your sprite when it touches the edge, you can just select edge. Now drag the sprite onto the edge. See the sprite is moving when it touches the edge. Now go to the sprite toolbar and we are going to choose a sprite from the scratches library. I am going to choose this button too. And now go to the cat and select the option button 2. So when this sprite touches this button, it will move forward. So let's click the green flag. Now drag the sprite onto the button. See, when it touches the button, it moves forward. Now let's delete this button. Okay, now let's have a look at the touching color block. This is going to detect when a sprite touches any color. So we are going to replace this touching button to block with the touching color block. Now select the stage, go to the backdrop tab and create a purple rectangle. Now go to sprite, select the color of the purple rectangle. Now click the green flag. This sprite will move forward when it touches this rectangle. So drag the sprite onto the purple rectangle. See it moves forward. Next we have the touching two colors block. It checks whenever the first input a color on its sprite is touching another color. This block is widely used for collision detection. Now select the color. The here is an example that I am going to show you. Now select the color, the color of the sprite's head which is orange and here the purple. Now drag this condition in the move block. Click the green flag. See when the sprite touches its head onto the purple rectangle it moves forward. But if I touch the tail on this paper rectangle it will not move forward because it is not orange see it doesn't move forward the distance to blocks reports the distance in pixels between mouse pointer and specified sprite let's build a code for example so we are going to go to looks and we are going to drag the size block inside the forever loop and then we are going to drag the distance to mouse pointer block inside the set size block. Now click the green flag. See the sprite changes its size depending on the distance from its mouse. Now let's set the size back to 100%. Block. Now we have the key pressed block. This is going to detect when you press any key on the keyboard. Now we are going to delete the script and replace it with, with the move 10 steps block. Now drag this 
key pressed lock inside the move. Now click the green flag. See, when I press the space key, it moves forward. You can also change it any key you want. For example, I select the Q. And if I press space, see nothing happens. But if I press Q, it moves forward. Now this is going to detect when you click the mouse button. So let's drag this block inside the move 10 steps block. See when I click the mouse, it moves forward. Now this is going to detect the X position of the mouse while this is going to detect the Y position of the mouse. So let me show you an example. We are going to go to motion and we are going to drag the set X block here and drag the mouse X block. Click the green flag. See the X position of the sprite is the X position of the mouse. Now replace the mouse X with the mouse Y. Click the green flag. See my, the Y position of my mouse sets so the X position of the sprite. Now that's all for today guys. Hope you liked this video. If you want to learn about the remaining sensing blocks, you can watch my part 2 video of sensing blocks. Hope to see you in the next episode. Till next time. Bye.